we're here in the city today because public housing is under attack and we're facing a housing crisis here in Victoria. And look, right now we know that there's over 35,000 people on the waiting list and there's thousands and thousands of people who are homeless in our state right now. Now you would think that with that being the situation, governments would be doing everything that they could to actually build more housing and get people into secure homes. But instead what we're seeing from both state and federal governments are attacks on public housing. Now the state government, like a lot of people have been campaigning about for many months now, the state government wants to take some estates in the inner city and estates all across the city and sell them off to private developers. And the private developers would just have to build a little bit of public or social housing and then they could build as much private housing as they want and they'd make a lot of money out of it while the public housing system is worse off. Now, that's at the state level. But what we also know is that the federal government is failing to do what it needs to do for housing. And right now behind us at the Mantra Hotel in the city, we have got a Senate committee hearing um, on a new federal government bill from the Turnbull government. Now that bill is to restructure how support for homelessness works in this country. But what it won't do is actually provide more funding and it won't actually provide the sort of funding that we need to build public housing on the massive scale that we did in the 50s and 60s, which is what we actually need to do if we want to tackle the housing crisis in this country. And meanwhile, it could give the federal government the power to put in new conditions on states for, how that, for them to get any money from the federal government for housing. And, you know, there's a pretty real and present danger that what that could mean is the federal government will say, hey, we'll give you a little bit of money, but only if you bring in more private developers and only if you sell off more of it. And we need to stand against that. We need to stand against any moves to privatise housing in our country because we need more public housing, not less. Yeah, Rob, it's actually worse than that because um, this bill is actually implementing a structure which is going to uh, implement policy of the federal government. Now, in May last year, May 2017, the federal government actually said the money that they give the states for housing is actually going to be dependent firstly on renewal of public housing and secondly transfer of public housing to community housing, that is the, the private organisations. So the government is actually using this bill to implement that policy which will actually force uh, the states to, to privatise and transfer to community housing even if they don't want to. At the moment we've seen a large scale transfer of public housing but say in Victoria we've still got about 65,000 public housing units. If this, if this bill goes through, it's going to implement the policy of the federal government to force the states to speed up that process of privatisation and hand over to community housing groups. I'd just like to, I'd just like to speak on the ludicrousy of our federal government holding the Senate hearing at the Lardy Da Mantra Hotel on Russell Street. How can the people of Australia even know that this event's going on? How can we have access to our parliament? And how much money is a private corporation getting when our government has public buildings all over the country where they could be holding this, where it's perfectly accessible to our people of, of this country? What they're doing is blocking access to the parliament and this waste the government has to stop. The money they're spending today could that build a house for a family of three? I bet you it could. That's about all I'd like to say. Great. So folks are gathered here today. The senators will come out over the next half hour or so and we might do a bit of leafleting and get some support from people passing by and then talk to the senators on their way out. Yeah. <laughs> 
So, um, Senator, I'd like to I'd like to make a statement to you. I'm aware of the fact. Hello, Sir Gaze. Yes. Senator Doug. Is it yes. Doug Kelly? Yeah. Doug Kelly. Yeah. Publication yeah. Defence Network. Now, yeah, Doug, we've, we've had a look at the government policy statements, the federal government policy statements, and from the statement, they're actually trying to force the states to privatise public housing. And they're doing that through this bill. They're going to make funding to the states conditional on the states transferring public housing to community housing. So that's our position. So, Senator, Senator, hello, welcome. Hello. We're, we're here to make a statement today. Our statement is that we've had, we've had a look at the government policy statements from the federal government, and it's clear that this bill is being used by the federal government to force the states to hand over public housing to community housing, which is a form of privatisation. And we are opposed to that. We support gender and public housing in the hands of government and not in the hands of private organisations like community housing. And we are definitely we object to the, the federal government putting pressure on the states to increase the level of privatisation. At the moment, we've already seen a substantial amount of privatisation in public housing, and we don't, want to, we don't want to see an increase in that, we want to see a reversal of it. So that's our statement from the group today. We're welcome to hear a response from you, if you'd like to make a response. Well, look, uh, I'm Shadow Minister for Housing and Homelessness in a Labour government. Uh, my fundamental... You're, you're Doug Cameron, yeah? Yeah, I'm Doug Cameron, yeah. My fundamental proposition is that we need to get uh, more funding into housing and homelessness. We need to make sure that uh, the issue of uh, homelessness and housing affordability doesn't become the biggest intergenerational inequality. Doug, Doug I'm going to cut you short. Uh, well, don't no, no Doug, I'm cutting you short. Oh, we have an agenda here. We have, I, I, okay, Doug, well, Doug didn't want to make a... Doug, I, I, asked you, I, I made a statement. I asked you for your comment. I'll cut now to our federal uh, Liberal MP. No, I'm a, I'm a Labor, <laughs> yeah. Labor Senator. What's yes. your name is? I, I'm the Shadow Minister. So Doug, why you ask me a question? Doug, ask me a question I'm, ask, I'm, I'm making a statement. Yeah. I'm asking for a response yeah. on the specific question of transfer of public housing to community housing. If you don't want to make a statement on no, that, that's look, fine. Look, the, the reality is that there has not been any significant funding uh, for public housing for decades in this country. I think the situation in public housing is a disgrace. Uh, it needs to be funded appropriately. There are thousands, hundreds of thousands of people who should be eligible for public housing being able to access it. But the priorities of governments have not been on that issue. I am not a supporter of privatisation. Never have been, never will be. But what the situation is clear, that if we want to get more stock, to get people that are not being able to afford in the, the, the private rental, we need to make sure that the community housing sector grows as well. So there has to be a plan both for public housing, for community housing, for rental affordability. State governments need to look at the stock issue. Doug, I'm, I'm, Doug I understand the that. I've, I've made the, the point fed, about transfer of public fed, housing. Doug, I've made the point I'm about not, transfer. I'm not here to argue with Don't you. argue with me. Just make a comment okay. about transfer. I'm not Do you, here to argue are you opposed you. or in supporting the um, transfer of public housing to community housing? Said, it's a simple I've question. Said I'm a supporter of public housing. I have asked the question whether you're going to transfer. It's where it's at. You haven't said what your position so, is on transfer, Doug. Well, there will be transfers. And so my you're view, actually you're okay with transfer? I, I'm okay with transfer. Okay. In the context, That's, if you let me finish. I'll let you finish. Okay. In the context that we can increase stock to get poor people, to get the working poor to get unemployed social security recipients into housing. Into public that's housing. We're interested in, Doug, we're interested yeah. in public housing. Yeah, that's you're, right. You're, you're and now, I'm okay, interested in I'm, housing. Yeah, I, what I'm taking away yeah. from what you've said, Doug, and I presume you're representing the Labor Party policy, yes. is you're not opposed to the transfer of public housing to community housing. Provided, so provided there are rights for public for the tenants, Provided there is a growth in the number of accommodation that is available, 
provided it can be provided at a reasonable cost and people have got a roof over their head, that's my priority. Yeah, okay. Well, what, priority. what I take from that, Doug? Yeah, Lily would like to ask a question. Um, I just want to know your thoughts on the qualitative um, judgments that community housing providers make because they compete with each other. Um, so because they compete with each other, they, they use selection to um, bring tenants in who are perhaps more mobile and upwardly mobile than those than the kind of people who are at risk of homelessness and currently homeless. So that's a big problem with community housing providers. How, how do you... I think the biggest problem with, for community housing providers is that they, are, that they don't have the funds to provide more stock to get poor people into that accommodation. They have nothing to do with... Finish, and what they have to do, and what governments have to do, is to make sure there's sufficient funding to deal with an issue that is an absolute disgrace and a crisis in this country, and that's to get people a roof over their head. So that's what labour so is about. Labour is absolutely, wrong is absolutely, wrong is absolutely no, determined wrong, that we get more stock and that we get no, more no, people in housing. Well, that's fine. The reason Thanks. is because the community, okay, housing sector, community housing sector, community housing sector is grown by about 20,000 units over the last period, and public housing is diminished by quite a few thousand. And you're walking away from it, Doug. You've, yeah, you've made clear the decision. Away, you've made clear the position of the Labor Party, Doug. You're a sellout. Shame. Yeah. Down LP oh, shaming yeah. out public housing. Oh, we so we're waiting. We were waiting for Senator Jane Hume to come out of the hearing, but uh, she seems to have been. Um, she seems to have gotten the catering staff to take her lunch in there rather than run the gauntlet to come out and speak to us. So I think she might have been a little bit at a loss of what to say when confronted with her policy because she didn't want to say anything about it. So that was the chair of the committee, Senator Jane Hume. So we've now got Lee Rhiannon. Lee is the Green spokesperson on public housing. Hi, Lee. Hello. Thanks very much. Yeah, um, Lee, do you want to say a few words about how the uh, proceedings have been going and generally about the policy of the federal government? Uh, we're here at an inquiry, a Senate inquiry, into legislation that's before the federal parliament on a whole range of housing issues. But what it really does is highlight how appalling the federal government is when it comes to housing. It's just allowing housing to be stuck in the marketplace. So it's allowing people to profit out of housing no, no, no. rather than recognising housing as a human right and that we should be working for homes for all. Uh, and today that's been on display is that we need a fundamental change in approach to how we handle housing. Public housing needs to be strengthened, it needs to be expanded and that we need to ensure that that becomes um, a much more respected and larger aspect of how we do the housing industry. So Lee, you might have noticed that we were making the point that one of the biggest issues facing us today in Australia with public housing is the fact that there's a transfer or a giveaway of public housing to the community housing sector, which is a private uh, private sector of the economy. Uh, conditions that are available to tenants in community housing are much worse than public housing. And if you speak to public housing tenants, invariably they'll tell you they don't want to go to community housing. And it's quite understandable. Now what's the Greens position on the transfer or the giveaway of public housing and community housing? There should be no competition, there should be no taking from the public housing sector to community housing. Uh, that, that really needs to be the starting point here. We can't have that battle going on. Uh, we, because I'm from New South Wales and I've seen and visited um, places, one of them um, being very close to the centre of Sydney um, in Redford where they are in the process of moving um, a whole lot of public housing stock, where there's a very large community, very supportive, uh, and they're breaking it up uh, and moving it into community housing. And they've conned a lot of people, yep. saying, you know, it's no different, you'll get this, you'll get that. But then in time, um, that community housing, they can break the contracts, yep. and it's into the marketplace. Yep. Um, having said that, I know, that I know because there's Another example, not too far away, some fantastic student housing co-op and a lot of smaller housing co-ops that come under community housing, where a good job is being done. Uh, but in no way should there be competition. Well, competition is probably the wrong word. There should be no taking from public housing to um, push put into so-called community housing. 
we need to be restoring the good name of public housing. Public housing had a good name when I was a little girl. Yeah. I grew up in the 50s and 60s, and it was part of how things worked in this country. Yeah. Uh, and, and the ACT is an interesting example. Huge public housing stock there. Many of the public sector workers lived in public housing. We had Commonwealth state housing agreements that um, ensured that people you know, you, you could have the dignity of having a home. Yeah. So our big quest in the Greens is to ensure that it's homes for all, and that means getting housing out of the marketplace. I'm not saying that there should be no roles for a public housing sector, but it mustn't dominate. We need to ensure no. government policy is about ensuring that housing is there for people in poverty. Yeah, so look, the take home message is you're definitely in support of public housing. I want to ask you a tricky question now, Lee. Your predecessor, Scott Bowman, who was in charge of the portfolio for many years, the policy reads with no, no commitment at all opposing the transfer or giveaway of public housing and community housing. Is that something you would like to see change to make that commitment? Because we have that commitment in Victoria. The actual policy, the state Greens Victorian policy, is that there should be no privatisation of public housing. So would the federal Greens be prepared to make that commitment? Look, I um, was just having some talks with the people who I'm here with today to come and meet with you where we can sit down and yeah. talk about that. Because personally, I think there is a real need to ensure that we get that into policy, yeah. that we don't leave ourselves open where you can have this, um, well, I say competition's not the word, but robbing of the public housing yeah. stock into the commu so-called community industry, yeah. um, I'll call it. Uh, that's what is just so wrong, so dangerous, it will further just smash and uh, run down public housing. So we clearly need to tighten up our position and I will certainly be advocating for that. Well, Lee, the next question, and this is for the Greens generally, there's a, the commitments are rather vague because there's a commitment to both community housing funding and public housing funding. Now, if, if you give a dollar to community housing, that's a dollar that's not going to public housing. The waiting list for public housing is massive. So it would take a long time before you clear the lists of public housing before you can actually say you're not taking money away from public housing if you can give it to community housing. So to me, there's a, there actually is, is a requirement for the Greens to specify there is a priority in, in funding for public housing and then to look at community housing funding after that, housing, that uh, funding need is met. Have you got a comment about that? Well, in terms of, I understand um, that the, the Victorian um, have a much clearer and more delineated. No, they don't actually. There, there's no specific on the, on the funding on issue. Funding. On the funding there's issue. both, you know, commitment to funding both, but there's no kind of priority in terms of, you know, we, whether you're going to prioritise funding with public housing until that. I, and I think that's why the discussion is so valuable yeah. to get down into this detail that we need in yeah. policy. So when you're confronted with bills like we are here that you'll have that backup of policy about what our position is. Yeah. So I can see a lot of merit in that. In New South Wales at the moment, we are working on a position that our priorities need to be, if this is with regard to housing in New South Wales, the need needs to be, um, first off, is assisting people to stay in their public um, housing yeah. and homes, uh, and then to address the, um, the people on the waiting list, yeah. then getting homes, before anything else is done. Yeah. So it is very much in a public frame. Having said that, I do want to acknowledge that I think part of, and I haven't had the conversations with Scott, but Scott has very deep commitment to um, pub public services, the public sector. And I would imagine that when Scott was doing that, it was community in the sense of a lot of these smaller co-ops um, that are around. So that's where we have to sort that out because many of those people, uh, it is a form of um, public housing, that's dependent on the definition of public housing. I we, we, so, we disagree so, on that point. So, so yeah, well that, and that's what I value, I'll be down to shortly, yeah. to sit down and to understand that so we can tighten up the policy. I think basically we're on the same position, yeah. but I acknowledge we need a tight policy yeah. to give people like myself who have the portfolio and then the whole party room yeah. clearer guidance when it comes to it. Excellent, thanks Lee. Now Lee, so I look forward to meeting with you. you may be hungry Lee, is that a yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Can I get just one, yeah, yeah, Mike, yeah. one point on the uh, community housing is that there's so many different uh, organisations that are community housing and they have different criteria, they pick and choose who, who they house. In, 
I mean, this is an abomination in terms of where we've come yeah, from. Yeah, precisely. So, yeah, I mean, I would suggest that the clearest policy would be a public housing policy. Now, the co-op um, agenda that you're talking about it arose in the late 70s and the 80s, and these were small groups of people that actually put money into a pot and they waited their turn. Okay, now that's a different concept to community housing. I think we've got to be clear about that. I think it's a different concept. Yeah. But the, the, the big problem is that the community housing organisations, they have their own democracies, they run their own agenda, and ultimately they're looking to privatise the stock. And I think the Greens need, really need the clarity on that. Yeah. No, no, thanks for that. That's why I really do value the discussion because the term social housing, public housing, community housing, they're all so variable and I can see that they're used as cover to deplete the public housing stock. So it is very valuable to hear from you. Thanks, Lee. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Can we get a photo together now? Oh, yeah. <laughs>